next comedian hails all the way from Virginia. You're going to love her. Put your hands together for Ashley Berkeley! Hello. A little short for that. Hit myself in the lip and everyone probably saw it. <laughs> y'all are looking at me and thinking, now, there's a bitch who knows a thing or two about fashion. <laughs> yeah, I know I am dressed like it is still mid-quarantine, and I feel great about it. <laughs> I call this look COVID couture, brought to you by extreme isolation. <laughs> Uh, let me tell you a little bit more about COVID Couture. COVID Couture is cozy at all times. COVID Couture is day wear. It's night wear. It's day wear again. <laughs> COVID Couture is flexible enough that you could kick someone in the head if you really needed to. And you would be so comfortable while you were doing it. <laughs> COVID Couture! Uh, but let me be the first to tell you, COVID Couture is so much more than soft clothes. COVID Couture is a way of life. When you wear COVID Couture, the world is your beanbag chair. And you can sit anywhere you want. COVID Couture. My dad is Jewish and my mom is Mexican, so when I was born, they called me a cheap taco. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? And it is surprisingly accurate because I grew up to be a lesbian who fucking loves a good deal. <laughs> be careful what you wish for. <laughs> Although these days I identify as more of a broke gordita, which is little chubby girl for my gringos. Uh, I really, really do love a deal though, so much that it gets me into trouble sometimes. I got a Groupon for laser hair removal. Incredible deal, three treatments for the price of one. Such a great deal that as the lady was burning the top three layers of skin off of my upper lip and chin, <laughs> the only thing that I could smell was the money I was saving. <laughs> uh, my face scabbed up into a really nice little uh, mustache goatee situation. <laughs> And I went back to see her two more times. <laughs> because I paid for three. I'm not gonna leave money on the table. And anyways, my beard is back in thicker than ever. It really was uh, more for less. Um, I am really, really, really into celebrity pharmaceutical commercials. I think they're so weird. I think they're so voyeuristic. What a strange milestone on the arc of fame. First, we've got Lady Gaga. She has traded her meat dress for ma 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 migraine medication. <laughs> She's caught in a bad romance, all right. And now we know it's with Pfizer. <sighs> and then we've got Cindy Lauper. Her psoriasis has ruined her day, time after time. <laughs> we have seen her true colors. And they are red and scaly. <laughs> oh, and then we've got Paula Abdul. Poor Paula Abdul. They really did Paula Abdul dirty. They have Paula Abdul engaged in an epic street jazz battle with the 1989 version of herself. And she's keeping up. Paula Abdul is keeping up. <laughs> ah! <laughs> and she owes it all to the arthritis cream. <laughs> that she has been slathered in for the last 15 years. That's Paula. But uh, if I could have a fantasy celebrity endorsement, it would not be pharmaceutical. It would be the pop icon Cher as the face of America's favorite microwavable snack. <clears throat> Pizza in the morning. Pizza in the evening. Pizza at supper time. When pizza.
pizzas on a bagel. You can have pizza anytime. Thank you, I'm Ashley Berkman, y'all have been awesome.